How's it going, everybody? So, just taking a walk here. Um, I think as I have seen, and you all have seen, Fender has come out with a Tone Master Pro. So, this is a kind of floorboard modeling unit, uh, analogous to like the Helix, uh, Quad Cortex, and Head Rush, all of those. So, I think this was a bad move. Okay, and I'm gonna explain why. But first, I'm gonna talk about the positives. Second, I'm gonna talk about the negatives, why I think it's a bad move. And third, I think there's a silver lining. We're gonna talk about that too. So firstly, what they did well. Number one, the FRFR cabs. They look like Fender amps. They look great. Now, without hearing them, um, I can't tell. They have a three-band EQ on them, too, so you can you don't have to dive into your modeler to make basic adjustments based on the room that you're in. So that is a a great thing. Um, they also put like all the features in. They put all the features, and third, they made a uh, a really pro piece of equipment. They didn't just take their GT line of amps, right? The basic modeling amps, throw in a pedal, charge 500 bucks and call it a day. They didn't do that. They went out and completely engineered a pedal, completely did the Tone Master style um, modeling that they do, which I, 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 I like the brand, that branding. And I like that high level modeling. I've had uh, a Tone Master amp, and I think the technology is awesome. I just, I got the 65 Deluxe, and I don't like 65 de Deluxes. But uh, I like what Tone Master, the, like what the Tone Master stuff is doing. So all that is a plus. So what's wrong? Why did they miss the mark? Uh, what's wrong with this idea? And it comes down to these big modeling floorboards and this doesn't look a massive but the idea of this where it has like all the amps ever and all the effects and everything in one pedal i don't think this is a growing industry or part of the industry i think this is a dying part of the industry because it's just too much nobody needs all of that junk maybe a few players i just don't think the market is big for that at all. Oh, I have some friends here. Hey, puppies. You got the dogs. Oh. But the small ant modeling pedals are what's up. And by and large, we, we don't need a million amps. And most of us play and already have pedal boards. So you pick up a few new, with this big, all-encompassing one, you'll pick up a few newer players. Um, you'll pick up some home enthusiasts. I don't think you're gonna prime any people away from the systems they're already using, like Helix or Head Rush or Quad Cortex or any of that, because those people have already put so much time and effort and money into their setups. I don't think they're gonna change. Um, and I don't think you're gonna get a lot of young players because it's expensive. You know, it's 1,700 bucks. So before, the pro guys, or for, for gigging musicians, like, like me, I already have a pedal board set up. I already have all my analog pedals, right? The purpose of modeling for me is to not break my back. I have a bad back and carrying my two rock around just isn't an option. But here's the silver lining. See, I gig with a a UA Dream. So I use the UA Dream on my pedal board. And I think that is the future of modeling. Now I want to see Fender do that. And I think they will. And I think that's the silver lining. And please, Fender, give us tweeds. Give us brown face with harmonic tremolo. You come out with that pedal. Boom. I'm putting money down. I will buy that when it comes out. But 
Um, as far as this, this, this big one, I just think it, I think it will lead to really great products. I think hopefully this leads to a tweed or brown face, um, Toastmaster actual amps, which I've been dying for. Based on the videos out there, what do you think? Let me know, comment below, like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching. And remember, it's always about the song. Peace.